is the Razer Viper Mini. It originally came out three years ago in March 2020, and at that time, it was one of, or if not the best gaming mouse on a budget. For under $40, it came with an esports grade sensor, a shape that fit most gamers, and a bunch of other unique features that weren't present on the competition. And the most important question is, is it still worth buying in 2023? Should you consider it? Should you get it as your next gaming mouse? In this video, we're gonna be talking about just that. This is Yusuf Alath from Tech Droids, and these are my two cents on the Viper Mini. So the packaging on the Viper Mini is really straightforward. You have the signature Razer box, Inside, you have the mouse itself, a user manual, and a Razer sticker. Now talking about the Viper Mini itself and starting off with the design and build quality, the design is carried forward from the bigger brothers, the Viper and the Viper Ultimate, and that's a good thing in my opinion, because it has a really comfortable and safe shape, which fits majority of the gamers and majority of the grip styles, which is palm, fingertip, and claw. It is ambidextrous design, which means no matter which hand you use to, you know, game, the left or the right one, you can use the Viper Mini, but there's no side buttons on the right side, so you'll have to spend the extra money to get the Viper or the Viper Ultimate if you want those side buttons. But otherwise, in general, it has ambidextrous design. Now, if you have hand size above 18 centimeters, the palm grip isn't gonna feel that great because it is a small mouse and the dimensions are on screen right now and they are slightly smaller compared to the Viper and Viper Ultimate, which are comfortable for all grip styles. So if you have, you know, relatively large hands, you should look to get those two mice instead of the Viper Mini. But otherwise, if you have hand size below 18 centimeter or 18 centimeters to be exact, the palm grip option is gonna be perfect for you. You can fingertip and claw with bigger hands sizes as well, and it'll take some time getting used to the small you know, form factor, but once you do get used to it, it's a really nice experience. And I have a you know, decent size hand and I do use the palm grip option. I play a lot of CSGO and Valorant. I haven't had any issues with it. And yeah, it's a really fun mouse to use in my opinion. Now talking about the cable on this one, it's got the signature Razer Speedflex cable, which doesn't really tangle, doesn't get you know, attached to surfaces, doesn't get stuck to surfaces. And it's a really smooth cable in my opinion for a cheap budget mouse. I personally use the Viper Mini with the Razer Bungie V2. So I have a mouse bungee and that makes the cable disappear in my opinion. Like if you have a mouse bungee, the Viper Mini will feel wireless. Now it doesn't have to be a Razer mouse bungee. It could be any other mouse bungee from BenQ or any other brand and you'll have a similar experience. Now talking about another extra feature on the Viper Mini, you've got 100% PTFE feet, which makes the mouse glide really well on most surfaces and most types of mouse pads. I personally use a really cheap mouse pad which is the red gear mp44 it's not a really expensive one it's like ten dollars and the better the mouse pad the better the gliding will be and it's got continuous glides there's no gaps or spaces in between here is a gliding test for you guys now that's the gliding those are the ptfe feet Talking about the clicks itself, the Viper Mini has Razer's optical switches, which are amazing. They're rated for 50 million clicks and they feel really good. Like they feel really premium and they sound really good as well. Tactile and good travel as well. I personally don't like the middle click on the Viper Mini. It could have had more travel, more feedback, but people rarely use it. It's usually used in games to ping stuff in Apex or Counter-Strike. So yeah, if you do use this button a lot, you might have you know some issues you might not like it but other than that the clicks the dpi button the side buttons feel great in my opinion and here is a sound test for you guys So those are the clicks, now let's talk about the sensor. You've got the Pixar PWM3359 sensor here, which has a max DPI of 8,500, which is an inferior sensor compared to the Viper, which has the 3380, and that goes up to 16,000 DPI. 
In my opinion, you don't really need a really high DPI. Usually people just use 1600 or 3200 max. You need a very high DPI if you have a multi-monitor setup, but other than that, for gaming, most people, most Counter-Strike and Valorant players are on 400, 800, or 1600. That's the max. Even if you have a crazy sensitivity, you're not gonna use the full 8500 DPI. Now, to customize these settings, you'll have to use Razer's Synapse software, which is a really nice experience. For a budget mouse, the software is good. You can customize all basic stuff, like the DPI, the polling rate, which this mouse has a 1000 hertz polling rate, and you can you know shift between 125, 500, or 1000. You can calibrate this mouse to custom mouse pad from Razer, and that's gonna give you the optimal experience. But if you don't have a Razer mouse pad, don't worry, you don't have to you know, change any other setting. And the mouse does have onboard memory, so you can save the profile on it, and the next time you go to a LAN cafe or to a friend's place and plug this in, the data will be stored and your config will be right there. Now, the Razer Synapse software also allows you to do macros as well as customizing the buttons on the mouse. So do check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. And it also helps you customize the Razer Chroma RGB. Now, the RGB on the Viper Mini, in my opinion, is a total bonus. Even if it didn't have RGB, I wouldn't really complain. The logo, the Razer logo on the mouse, and also there's this underglow strip which glows really well. And this is a really nice implementation of RGB on a gaming mouse because most mice have RGB on the body somewhere and it gets covered, but the Viper Mini's RGB is really visible and it looks classy. It doesn't look too cheap or anything. It's not too funky. And you can customize all the RGB effects using the Razer Synapse software. And here's a quick tutorial for you guys. All right, so now talking about RGB on the Razer Viper Mini, there is a lot of customization that you can do. So you'll have to come into Razer Synapse into the lighting tab. And of course, if you have a profile from a previous computer, or if you just want to import your profile from this computer, you can do that here. So the mouse does have onboard memory. Starting off with basic stuff, you can turn off and turn on the RGB lighting. You can change the brightness here. So you have lots of control. You also have some you know, power saving options where you can turn off the lighting when the display is idle or when the PC is idle and you can you know, set the timer for that as well. Now you do have advanced effects, for that you'll need the Chroma Studio module, but just with basic effects, quick lighting, you have static mode, which is gonna be one color, and that's pretty much it. You can change the color, and the mouse will go onto that, and this is pretty good. And then you have the audio meter feature, which is also known as music sync, so whatever is playing on your computer, the mouse RGB will re react to that. Then you have breathing effect where you can select the two colors which it will breathe through or you can set up a random color and that works fine as well in my opinion. Then you have reactive which I personally like. This is my favorite kind of effect. So you can change the color here and then when you actually press the mouse clicks, the mouse will react to that and this is my favorite because this is where you can actually feel the RGB moving. So when you scroll, click, or when you press the DPI button, it will change the RGB. So this is a really nice RGB effect. And last but not the least is gonna be spectrum cycling, which just goes through all the colors on its own. You don't need to change anything. It'll go through all the colors and all the different brightness levels. All right, so the RGB is great. The software is nice in my opinion. Overall, the Viper Mini is a good mice. The only reason for someone to not buy the Viper Mini is gonna be their hand size. If you have you know, big hands, this is not gonna be the mouse for you. You can get the Viper or the Viper Ultimate, but if you have you know, decent size or small hands, this is gonna be the perfect mouse for you guys. Now, talking about my personal experience, gaming and doing normal day-to-day -day tasks with the Viper Mini, it was a lot of fun because my hands aren't that big and the Viper Mini was a really comfortable mouse for me. I was able to palm grip it without any issues and I play a lot of CSGO and Valorant and I was able to do everything I would do with other mice, you know, flicking around really fast, the gliding really helps and you can do a lot of crazy flick shots with this mice. Even if you have a different kind of sensitivity, once you get used to this mice, it's gonna be really fun. And you might even have a better aim considering the lightweight and compact shape. That's if you get used to it. Not saying that buying this mouse is gonna make you a better aimer, but I had a lot of fun, you know, gaming with the Viper Mini. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this video helpful. I'll leave Best Buy links to get the Viper Mini in the description down below. And if you do decide to buy the mouse, buy it from my links, it helps the channel out. It's going for about $40 in the US. 
and it's going for half that price in India. It's going for about 1800 rupees, which is half the price of its original. And that's a steel deal. It's a no brainer in my opinion. And I think you should go get it before the stocks run out. And that's that, that's the video. I hope you guys had fun. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. But with that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.